A mother in California says she loves her children despite being accused of abuse and neglect after they were found in, quote, horrible living conditions where feces were found throughout the home. Also out of California, surveillance video from a school bus shows a driver yelling at and shoving an eight-year-old girl with autism. More on this story on the ABC Columbia mobile app. Plus, sit still is a thing of the past. According to a new study, keeping kids active can improve academic performance and behavior. And take a listen to this. Laurel. Laurel. What did you hear? Laurel or Yanny? Well, we'll let science explain. Hello, and thank you for joining me. From Maine and Gervais, I'm Kimberly Davis. I hope that you're well this Wednesday. Happy birthday if you're celebrating today. You share the day with my grandmother, Alice. She's 82, and singer Janet Jackson. Those trending headlines, celebrity birthdays, and your moment in history are all up next today, May 16th. Doug Johnson has a story of 10 children who were removed from horrible living conditions in a home in Fairfield, California. And we love you so much. I can't talk to you right now, but babies, if you see this, your mommy loves you. Every day I am working for you. 30 year old Ina Rogers now out on bail sends a message to her 11 kids who have been taken away from her and her husband, 29 year old Jonathan Allen for neglect and abuse. Fairfield police say this case started in late March when Rogers 12 year old son had run away. He was found a short time later hiding under a bush, but officers noticed nine other kids living inside the house in filth. Garbage and spoiled food on the floor, animal and human feces, and a large amount of debris making areas of the house unpassable. Rogers claims that mess came from her tearing the house apart to look for her son. I moved everything out of the closet. I toppled over their beds. I looked every inch of that house up and down, and then I realized, oh my God, my son is gone. At that point, Rogers' children were taken by Child Protective Services, and she was charged with child neglect. During the following six weeks, investigators say the kids started to open up about how Allen was treating them. The children described incidents of intentional abuse, resulting in puncture wounds, burns, bruising, and injuries consistent with being shot with a pellet gun or a BB gun. Friday officers arrested Allen, charging him with nine counts of felony torture, and six counts of child abuse. That's why this is absolutely crazy. He was the nice guy. He was the one playing video games with them, and I'm telling them that we need to clean up and do chores. <laughs> Rogers allowed us to see the conditions inside her home, but she claimed the mess was made by the police department when they arrested Allen. They tore up everything and I haven't had time to clean it because I've been back and forth to work. I work graveyard, so. But officers say conditions between their first visit in March and on Friday had not improved, although they did conduct a search of the home. So objects were obviously probably moved while conducting that search. That was not the, the basis for the charges regarding the environment the children were in, though. Welcome back. When it comes to kids in classrooms, sit still is no longer a rule. A new study explains why it's important for kids to be more active while in school. Kim Hutchison has more in today's Health Minute. Being active isn't just for adults. With childhood obesity still a major concern in the U.S., groups like the National Association of Physical Literacy stress the importance of teaching kids to stay active, whether at home or at school, so they can incorporate a healthier lifestyle well into adulthood. According to an associate clinical professor at Harvard, activity breaks during the day can help students become better learners because of the impact of movement on their brain. A recent study published in the journal Pediatrics surveyed more than 10,000 kids between the ages of 4 and 13. The study found that children who get extra physical activity while at school do better in reading and math. The research not only shows that being active can help kids with cognitive function, it can also help with behavioral issues. The chief wellness officer for the National Association of Physical Literacy says if kids are able to get up and move around, they're not going to have so much energy that they disrupt class or their classmates. For today's Health Minute, I'm Kim Hutcherson. America is divided on all sorts of issues, politics for sure, but also sports and even entertainment. And on Tuesday, the internet gave us something else to disagree about. It's an audio clip first posted to Reddit, then going viral on Twitter. It plays a single word. Some hear Laurel, while others hear Yanni or Yanni. And both groups are convinced they are correct. CNN's Dave Briggs and Christy Roman has more. 
Twitter asking this question this morning. Laurel or Yanny? What do you hear? Listen closely and decide. Laurel. 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 The answer's obvious. America's, Laurel. Di America's divided here. <laughs> Social media hopelessly, as Christine suggested, polarized by the audio, audio clip, brings back memories of this dress that was clearly blue and black, though... <laughs> Some, like Romans, felt it was what? It's gold white and white, and, gold? and they're saying Yanny. It's right. so weird how you right. can hear and see things. Team Laurel, the Team Black. The same and... image. I just think it's a metaphor <laughs> for America, right? The same image, the same thing. You're right about that. People see it or hear it differently. We retreat to our corners. Tribalism. And we are not in the same corner, apparently. Clips. A University of Arizona audio specialist says the low quality of the recording lends itself to being heard differently by different people. He also cited the frequency fluctuations in the word that may affect the way it's heard. However, the professor says the original recording was most likely Laurel. On this day in 1991, Queen Elizabeth II became the first British monarch to address the United States Congress as she lauded U.S.-British cooperation in the Persian Gulf War. Happy birthday. If you're celebrating today, you share the day with singer Janet Jackson. She's 52. Actress Megan Fox is 32 and singer Ralph Tresvant is 50. A huge thanks to Mrs. Jeanette Williams and the faculty, staff and students at Lake Marion High School. They invited me to attend their inaugural career fair a few weeks ago, and I saw a familiar face on their district's website. Well, that's our time for today. You've been watching What's Trending. The news continues online at abccolumbia.com, on our mobile app, and on the news at 6 and 11. I'm Kimberly Davis. Be kind to each other. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and thanks for watching. Stop wiggling. I'm almost done. Why'd you gasp? Ah, my hair is my identity!